Hello, the camp! Right on in. It's time for the Trail Boss's Journal. Stories and lessons to give you a message of hope and brighten your day. There's coffee on the fire. Pour yourself a cup. I've just finished reading the newest entry in the old Trail Boss's Journal. After years of nursing cows and ramrodding cowboys up the trail, the old Trail Boss, Pastor Jack Blease, began keeping a journal so he would remember the events and the folks who crossed his trail. Now let's join Pastor Jack over at the fire for a story and quiet reflection. Trail Boss's Journal. Trail date, June 17th, 1888. Location, back at the ranch. Dear Journal, as he walked into the cookhouse, all the hands stood and applauded. I don't believe I ever saw anybody more surprised than Pop Wilkins at the reception he got. Today was his special day, and all the hands were there to salute a real cowboy. When Pop opened the door, all the hands stood up and whistled and shouted. And then Red Evans broke into, for he's a jolly good fella, and the whole bunch joined in. California, our cook, came out of the kitchen carrying something that looked like a cake. It was still in the cast iron skillet he baked it in, but it was frosted with lettering that just said Audie, Pop's real name, Wilkins, and underneath it the word cowboy. When the hoorahing ended and the boys sat down, Pop started speaking. Was that a tear in his eye? Boys, he said, thanks. It's apparently no secret that I won't be making the drive with you this year. Yep, boys, I'm hanging up my saddle. There's a few of you that won't be disappointed that I'm not there pushing you hard to do your best. But as you have seen during the years we've been together, I don't know any other way than that. 35 years in the saddle as a working cowhead. A good share of that here on this ranch. And that was after a few years working with and for my father. And as much as I appreciate you honoring me, let me share this with his memory. I am the man I am because of who he was and one bigger than any of us. I remember that every day growing up was a chance to learn from a man who could have been a legend if they gave an award for hard work, honesty, and integrity. I can still hear him say, always finish what you start. If something is worth starting, it's worth finishing. Looking over at Baldy Evans, he smiled and said, how many times have you heard me say, we ride for the brand? The longer version of that he taught us was, whenever, whatever the job you sign on for, when you take a man's money, you protect that brand like it was your own. We grew up on a kind of a hard scrabble place over there in East Texas, and right after the war, money was tight. But we always got by because people trusted him. His word was his bond. To him and the folks he did business with, his handshake meant more than a written contract. He looked the group over again. Ernie, Dusty, I remember when you two signed on. You looked mo no more like cowboys then. But when the colonel asked me if I thought you'd do, his words popped into my head. Don't inquire into a man's past. Take the measure of a man for what they are today. And then he would quote from the Bible, John's Gospel, I think, quoting Jesus. Look beneath the surface so you can judge correctly. And look at you now, ramrod and lead point writer. For all he taught me, he really didn't say much that didn't need to be said. <laughs> I can still hear his words. A cowboy doesn't talk much. He saves his breath for breathing. He believed if a man can't say something a cowboy can't understand, then don't be saying it. He paused, took a breath and laughed, and here I am, palavering on. Let me finish by remembering the most important thing he taught me. And I've tried to share it with many of you and make it the thing I want to be remembered for the day after I hang up my saddle. He told us every day, always put God first. And he did. And I try to. I've tried to set my saddle straight, ride for the Lord and be the man he created me to be. Uh, enough preaching. Let's have some of that cake. Pops weren't the only eyes a little on the teary side that day. Fire's about out. Stars are shining. Time for my talk with the Lord. This last Sunday was Father's Day. And our little service on Sunday, why we shared from the book of Genesis over in the, in the first chapter, starting with verse 26. Then God said, let us make man in our image 
in our likeness, and let them rule over the fish of the sea and the birds of the air, over the livestock, over all the earth and over all the creatures that move along the ground. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. If you were to look at social media or, or just walk around the street these days, there seems to be a lot of confusion about what a man is. In my day growing up, there wasn't much confusion. And certainly in the story we shared today, there's not a whole lot of confusion. The Bible tells us that God created man in his own image. Male and female, he created them. Separate, but equal. So what is a man? You know, we don't have to do much further than go to the Bible and read the stories of some of the great men of the Bible, men like Moses, men like David, men like Joseph, Jesus' earthly father. You know, I love the story of I love the story of Joseph. We don't know a lot about him, but we do know one thing, and it probably helps us in that definition. He was a devout Jew. Okay, devout. He he loved the Lord. He did the best that he could to serve him. He worked hard to earn a living for his family. And he raised his stepson to be the man that he could be as an earthly man. But you know, Jesus always, always knew who his father really was, his father in heaven, God our creator. The Bible tells us that God created man in his image. So when we think about who God is, well, there's the model for us. He gave us his only son, Jesus, that who would ever, whosoever would believe in him would not perish but have eternal life. And he came to be a model for us that we might be able to see God through him and seeing God, understand what a man is. You know, there's a saying that's kind of popular these days in our Western culture, cowboy up. When I was growing up, that same thing was kind of, was man up. And we knew what that meant. But we knew what that meant to be because of our walking as Christians in the love and light of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Be a man. Be the man God created you to be. See you up the trail. And if you would like to be on the trail of that eternal drive, join us in saying this prayer. Lord Jesus, reckon I ain't been the best of folk. I know I've wandered off the path more times than I can count. So here I am, with my hat in hand, asking for your forgiveness. I know you died for my sins and rose again. Come on in, Jesus. Take the reins of my life. Much obliged for saving me. Amen. Now, if you prayed that prayer, welcome to the Roundup. We invite you to be a part of our community of believers each Sunday morning for Cowboy Church Live. We meet up at 9 a.m. on Facebook or YouTube. You can find more information on our website at trailbossministry.com.